Hey guys, Matthew here from Good Hero Electrical and Solar. So today in this video, a quick run through what you need to be looking at on a bill uh, to help you size a battery and see if you have a big enough solar system or not to add a battery onto it. So you've got a customer's bill here. So if you scroll down on your bill, you'll get this little line here that says your average daily usage. So you can see for this customer, they're using only about 8.3 kilowatts a day and they're only using about nine and a half last year. So they've got pretty low usage. Uh, but just looking at that doesn't really mean anything because you need to see how much you're actually exporting. Whatever you're exporting to the grid, that is how much like power you have to put into a battery. Because whatever you're exporting, instead of exporting, it would go to the grid. So if you come down here to where it says your standard feed and tariff, so he's getting 10 cents for the first uh, 10 kilowatts a day or 12 kilowatts a day, whatever it is, and then he's getting five cents after. So you need to add both of those together and that's gonna give you your total solar exports or depending on who your provider is, if you go down a little bit lower, it's gonna have this little graph and show you uh, your exports and your usage. So he is always exporting more than he's using. So that's great. Or you can look at the chart down here and you can see. So for a customer like this, he's selling 20 kilowatts a day and only using about eight kilowatts a day. So you'd only really need to do a 10 kilowatt battery to cover his usage, but you'd have to look at another bill in summer to see what it is then. Often people use more in summer, uh, but if you want to do a VPP trading or something like that, then he could do a 20 kilowatt battery, easily fill that, use 10 to cover his nighttime usage and sell the other 10 back. So he's perfect with what it is, but if it wasn't, if that was lower, then what we'd have to do is we'd have to actually look at his house and see if there was enough room to add more solar on. So. This is this customer's house. Obviously for him, he doesn't need to do this, but if we, if he wanted to, we'd have to have a look and add more solar. So you could upgrade to an eight or a 10 kilowatt inverter because he's only got a 6.6 .6 at the moment. And then depending which inverter you did, you'd be able to add an extra one string or two strings of panels. So this tree in the front yard is actually gone now. This is an old photo this is before the cyclone. So if they wanted to, they could actually add another 6.6 .6 kilowatt system and increase to 13 kilowatts. So for some people, that's what they need to do. So yeah, that's the main thing to look at at your bill is your exports versus your usage. And if you wanna go big on the AMBA and the VPP trading stuff, then you've got a big enough gap to actually fill a 20 or 25 kilowatt battery. Or even if you wanna make some of the bad weather days, you might need to put some more on there to sell back and maximize those feed-ins on the overcast days. But yeah, give us a call and we can have a look through and see what you need to do. Thanks. Yeah, give us a call and we can look over your bills properly and figure out what the best option for you is. All right, thanks guys.